Hello viewers, this is Ben. And this is James. Today, yes, uh, today yes. We'll, we're always drinking fizzy drinks down in the bunker bunker. So today we decided we're going to create our own. They're always coming up with things like vanilla Coke and all these different types of flavors. Fruit Twist Fanta. There we go. We're going to wing it and we're going to make our own and Lucy, Tim and the rest of us are going to try it. Are you, are you proposing to mix all of them together? I don't see why not. Do you have any set favorites that you want well, to mix I, or? I like Ribena, but I like it on its own. But I suppose if you have a kebab, a Donna kebab, you have it with everything. Yes. Of do course. you not? So why could you not do the same with fizzy drinks? And exactly. we have convenient measuring cup here. It was right on the worktop. What, what were the chances of that? Mm -hmm. And I noticed it's, it's got American and it's got every type of unit on. So the Americans use cups. So if yes. we put a quarter of a cup, <coughs> excuse me, of each drink in, I mean, are they one of the it's 11, yes. So each drink gets an equal chance, an equal yes. say in the final flavor, okay. which might be a bit like plasticine. If you mix all the colors together, it becomes sort of gray. When you mix all paints together, it sort of turns like to a dark, Green, green, yeah, yes, yeah, it does. Would you drink a dark green drink? Dark, well, I've drunk green tea, but it's not really dark green, is it? Mm. Is there a dark green drink? Watercress soup. That's a soup. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Mountain Dew was um, green. Well, it is, is it green, isn't it, I suppose? Who's going to do it? One of us should mix and the other should taste. Do you want to mix or taste? I want to taste, but I also want Fine. to mix. Fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so a quarter of a cup of each one. Yes. I don't know, do the viewers need to see this? It makes it much harder for you. In fact, it makes it virtually impossible. Oh no, you can see it from, so a quarter of a yeah. cup. The first graduation is at half a cup. So obviously halfway up to that. I'll take the tops off. Mustn't mix up the tops. It's a bit like oh. you're doing that with bottles in the chemistry lab at school. So far it's red. Yes. The orangina has bits in it as well, doesn't it? It's going to be a bitsy, fizzy drink. Actually, I didn't shake it up. You should put the top oh, back on and give it a yeah, shake. No. I forgot about that. Viewers will be deeply annoyed if we don't. They would. The ritual. And it would be, it wouldn't be scientifically robust. <laughs> Urnbra. So far, I'm pretty confident with raspberry, ribena and orangina. Yeah, it could be that that's the point to stop, but oh, let's... The what? bits inside it don't look... No, the bits don't look good. <laughs> the bits look a bit bit sicky to be honest but oh, fruit twist fanta this looks i've got to say disgusting that, I, no it's very nice oh actually it smells fantastic try some I, as we don't need it all oh that's epic <laughs> sugary yeah. fruity disgusting but nice disgusting if you know what i mean we've got two types of coke well i don't know we've got coke and pepsi and dr pepper i guess as well yeah what color is it now it's brown no, it's isn't it it's, <laughs> it's gravy colored <laughs> mountain dew are you doing this very accurately? I'm doing my best. Lucasade. Uh, this is now the better flavour. Oh yes, because there was a rebellion, wasn't there, about yeah. Lucasade not tasting like it used to in the way that wagon wheels aren't as big as they once were and cheese and onion crisps don't have as much cheese in them as they once did. Exactly. Your favourite, your new favourite. Uh, we've just got another three cups. Well, yeah, 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 well, okay. So it's not green. It's brown. It's yeah. the colour. You may not remember this being young people of dandelion and burdock. Has anybody ever had that? Yes. You yeah, everyone shaking their head, I have no clue what. Dandelion and burdock, it's a, it was a very popular fizzy drink back when I was a boy and it tasted pretty terrible, to be honest. You can sweep aside all the drinks so that you can view what would appear to be a jug of very watered down gravy, complete with some <laughs> little bits, bits of it. chicken in it. <laughs> Let's just see what it smells like. <sighs> it smells a bit like cough mixture. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it's it? Helpful. Yes, cowpaw with a bit of sweetness yeah. thrown in. Yeah. Shall I pour? I really... <laughs> <laughs> Cloudy with bits in. Yeah. And some of the fizz seems to have been killed off by the process as well. Are you a, are you a bits man? If you... No, I don't mind bits. I don't mind bits if I'm expecting bits. So orangina, yeah, fresh okay, squeezed yeah. orange juice, yeah. grapefruit juice. If I got bits in Ribena, <laughs> I'd be, you know, alarmed. It looks like kidney failure. It looks like what kidney failure. Kidney failure? <laughs> it looks like my urine the, uh, after a night in the pub, but not as thick. And with more bits? No, I don't have bits. In my, I don't have bits in my urine, but or bubbles usually. Yeah. But anyway, let's um. Chin chin. Let's give it a swirl around to make sure the oxygen yeah. can play its part in informing the flavour. Right, go. Taste of sugar, mm. doesn't it? It tastes of like a very sweet blackcurrant, hard boiled sweet. 
Yes. Do you know what I think it tastes like? It doesn't look like it because it's too brown, but it tastes like an energy drink because energy drinks, in my view, generally don't actually taste that nice. Yeah. Apart from maybe Gatorade, Gatorade. which I quite like, but yeah, things it's... like Red Bull and Lucasade, I don't think they're particularly nice flavours, but they are a type of flavour that says, mm, this is giving yeah. you energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting cough syrup. Yeah, it's very coffee. Yeah. Have you made Vimto? No, Vimto's nice. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had a Vimto for a very long time, but no, Vimto I would say is nicer than this. <laughs> Lucy, it's got no cheese in it, so... Yeah, I'll give it a try. I'm double jabbed and you can drink from the opposite side of the cup. It's it smells a... like a jelly baby. No, you're right actually, it does smell like a freshly opened bag of jelly yeah. babies. Oh, oh you sugar. It's... It's, it's going to be a difficult colour to market, <laughs> isn't it? I mean... <laughs> I quite like that. Do you? Quite refreshing. Is it? Tim? Come on. <laughs> I'll give it a you youngsters are scared of yeah, food. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. We've just witnessed what's gone into it. Scared of cheese, scared yeah. of fizzy pop. Oh, I get the jelly baby reference. Yeah, that was that was a good tasting though, yeah. Lucy Brown. It's not as horrendous as I was expecting. No, it's considering not. Considering everything that's gone into it. I don't know how you'd make it better. That'd be the next thing. Drink them individually. Yeah. <laughs> if you could add something again to it, like what do you think it needs more of? Branston. Branston yeah. Spam. <laughs> what if you put it, what if you put, you know, like in a gin and tonic, you put a piece of mint. So let's put a, a wine gum in it, let it mature for a moment. What would happen if you put a little bit of coffee in it? It would make it more caffeine-y, wouldn't it? But it's, it might take away the, how long has this jar of coffee been on the shelf? <laughs> a couple of years. Really? It's become like one giant cubic <laughs> bean of coffee, is it? Surely coffee doesn't go off, does it? I Best before. So. It's only, it's only seven months out of date. Is that, it's not going to kill us, yeah, is it? You don't think it's safe. You don't get like coffee weevil or. Um, I'll put it. Yeah, well. Oh. Oh no 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 no. It's no. like a sort of pop cappuccino. No. I reckon that's going to be nice. Do you want me to try it first? Uh, if you think it's going to be nice. <laughs> nice and ethical because we've upsourced up what do you call it upcycle up upcycle thank you right it's got a bit of a head on it you're a brave man much better really yeah in fact if anything it needs a bit more coffee think of like a coffee ice cream lovely <laughs> No, <laughs> can, but it has made a difference. It has though, made it? a significant difference. I'm wondering if this coffee idea is quite interesting. Yeah. Well, we, you think you're onto something? Possibly. If we get a, if we break off a spoonful of coffee, <laughs> <laughs> so that's really very poor. I sense that that coffee idea works, but not with all the drinks, but maybe yeah. with one of them. But which one is it? I think it'll be coke. Do you think, yes, you yeah, might be right, yeah. actually. It's not, it's definitely not Ribena. Is that the zero sugar zero one? Sugar. What's this one? Maximum sugar. No, that's no maximum sugar, taste. it's maximum taste. taste. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, let's put Dr. Pepper in there, about an inch and a half. The coffee reacts. What makes it go so frothy, man? It's quite more. You didn't like more. it just now. No, I don't know, I want more for some reason. Coffee, caffeine, it's a drug, just say no. No. If you are a food scientist or um, a mixologist, it may have been thought of before and we're just being incredibly naive, but this fizzy drink with coffee, which fizzy drink should it be or fizzy drinks and what are the proportions? Can you make something, I mean, I'm getting coffee well, ice can't. cream with another ice cream. Yes, today, yeah, it begs the question why you can't buy fizzy coffee in coffee shops. Fizzy cold coffee? I'm actually, I'm actually, on the second time I've come round to it. Would you like to try it, Lucy? Lovely. Ooh, now it smells of Christmas. You're spot on. It smells of Christmas, like doesn't it? But what, what is that? Well, that's, I think that's the Dr. Pepper though. Is it that smells of brandy snaps? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or mincemeat or something? Yeah. God, that's excellent. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not just saying that because we're making Dr. Pepper coffee. We could be onto but something yeah. very, very yeah. big. But take a proper uh, sip, come on. That is horrible. It's not, it's not <laughs> horrible, Tim. No, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Am I kidding right. myself? I thought it was quite good. I, but I'm not a fan of Dr. Pepper. So I was thinking we make a little bit of out of date coffee. Just watch the measuring jug melt. Should we call it Bunker Brew? Coke, a little bit of Dr. Pepper to give it the cherry, yeah. and then a bit yeah. of Orangina. Yeah. So that's a, a reasonable slug of Coke, a smallish amount of Dr. Pepper, let's say about half as much from there. Do we biscuit and put the Orangina in as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
bollocks. This drink will not explode in your face. So add a, a fair old whack of the coffee, I think. And there's the head again. Yeah. It's a, it smells different to the last one. Significantly different. I'm not sure it smells as good. It's a completely different drink. That's not very good, is it? No, mm -hmm. no, no. So the winner of those three, so that's everything plus coffee, Dr. Pepper plus coffee, Dr. Pepper, Coke and Orangina with coffee. The winner is everything with coffee. So if you want to make this remarkable new drink that we've just discovered by accident in the way polystyrene was discovered, <laughs> buy all of these, mix them together equally, and then stir in some out-of-date coffee granules, and you're there.